Welcome to I Travel the World. We'll be visiting one of Zambia's oldest churches, the Anglican Church in Kabul. George's Church of the Anglican and this building was built in 1918 by the English settlers who came to Kawe back then known as Broken Hill and you can see the British influence from the traditional styling of the roof of the Anglican Church and it's a wonder in how well preserved the church is by the elders and the congregation of the church how everything is well maintained from the stained glass to the pictures that portray and display the life of the Holy Son our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the history of the Anglican Church actually dates back to the 2nd century, but its official formation was said to be in the 1530s of the 16th century under the rule of King Henry VIII of England. The word Anglican simply means English, thus the church being the church of England. But the majority of the churches are actually found here in Africa. And this church was mostly used by the white population as St. Margaret's being used by the Africans back in the colonial times. And which one was built for the black? The church of the Oh, yeah. by, uh, as you are entering yes. Kawa. And then the cleaners in our servants, Kumalala, hmm. near town gate. That as eight, eight, and the other side as five. five. The demarcation is the Lusaka Road. Hmm. This is called Kawa South Parish. So you cross the Saga Road going that way, it's called Saga Way, not Parish. Okay. Yeah. In most Anglican churches, the focal point of the church service is not the pulpit, it's actually the altar, which symbolizes sacrifice, and the cross where Jesus Christ was sacrificed. And this is where Holy Communion takes place of taking of Eucharist. And if you do visit most of the Anglican churches, you can see that the font where people get baptized is found immediately after you enter the church, which symbolizes that as you enter the church building, you enter the Christian family through baptism. Not exactly in 1952. Not exactly in 1954. And the final exactly in 1956. Right behind me is the St. Margaret's Anglican Church, which was predominantly for the Africans, and now this is a monument. And you can actually see St. Margaret's on the right side as you are entering Kawe, coming from Lusaka using the Great North Road. And these churches are part of the history of the Anglican Church right here in Zambia. This was an incredible experience in finding the church and in how the fathers were coming to visitors and outsiders like me. So I just want to thank the parish priest, the Reverend Father Tsanga and Father Mwepe, the assistant priest, who is also the data officer, for the opportunity to visit their beautiful church. This has been the church series on I Travel the World, so see you next time as we visit other churches of the world.